hello, hello. Bradford, Connecticut. 10 a.m. on the nose. WPIG 6051. Starts another broadcast here for you. And it should be extremely robust and meaningful. Interactive. Chill. Any other buzzwords? Meaningful? Did I say that already? Anyways. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So, as you know, that being said, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Going live. You want to send a message, send it there. As you do. And before we get to that, I have one new card to add to the lovely list of growing awesome cards. We, we premiered, just in case you missed it last night, what the hell. We did uh, Family Nights. Last night premiered new card because we have to have that, right? Come on. <laughs> and today, and also we had the Snort Wars, which is pretty good. We also have, say hello to Mrs. Goutfire from Barrett Wells again on fire. We have Mrs. Goutfire in the house. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Added to the pool. Good luck pulling this one. Talent on display here is just unbelievable. <laughs> Big ups, Jasper the Cat. I've got my spoon, and I'm hungry for some W-P-I-G. Big ups, W-P-I-G. I'm not sure why Cat didn't come up for that one. Hopefully that's a... Okay, there she is. There she is. A little bit late today, but she's there. <laughs> there, yeah, there she is. All right. All right. Enough nonsense. Let's get to our iceberg of fun. The chill, chill fun. So today we're going to be adding the 2016 staycation to the iceberg i just added the marriage to the top running out of space up there on the top but you know we'll deal with that later but obviously all those things are com commands of all the streams we've done in the past if you want to check out any more any any other of those you know do the command in chat you'll see it yada 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 bye all right so just to be clear today we are doing the 2016 staycation all right, 2016, but you may not be aware there was a 2015 staycation. So just for a little fun pre, this is pre pre-show. Let's watch this, the, the hotel walkthrough from the 2015 staycation to warm us up for the 2016 staycation. Sound good? Let's go. Okay, everyone. Uh, this is our Seattle staycation. It and, is and February 4th. Notice the verbiage here. He, the, he does use staycation here. That won't last. This is this is the uh, this. Is, he's okay with using staycation at this time, but that will change. Anyways, here we go. Here's the staycation. 2015. Leanna and I have decided to take a few days here to celebrate both the combination of our anniversary, which was last month, and Valentine's Day, which is coming up in oh, a couple just, weeks. Just pack them all together. That's really economical, Philip. <laughs> but we realized we were busy last month and I'm going to be busy during the Valentine's Day holiday. So he said, let's do something now during a slower week. So we're in downtown Seattle at Hotel 5. And you're going to see this is a pretty unique hotel room. First, we'll walk in. Let's see how unique it is. As you can it see, the colors pretty, of everything look very normal. different. Red, wood floor. Oh. Look at this. You've got red oh. walls. Never unique seen anything artwork. Like this. Look at that shade oh. in the back there for the window. Pretty interesting, right? Artwork? Very different artistic style than many other hotels that we've stayed at. Pretty unique. And, you know, you got your little <laughs> your little setup here, your cabinets to put your clothes in, your TV. We've got our Whoa! setup. We haven't even done any of this yet. I just plugged it in. I didn't actually set anything up. What do we got? Oh, oh, oh. I see our favorite friend over there at the top of your screen. It's a green, a certain green minion, but we'll get there later. All right. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I we appreciate that. We got totally that. insane. Let's check what we're rocking with here. So we got a laptop. We got our speakers. Oh, got to bring the speakers. Well, actually, why do you need to bring the speakers? But anyways, we got the speakers. We got the Blu-rays. All right, we're ready for a, a meaningful night. Meaningful chill staycation, dude. Set anything up. And there, look at the green. Do, does he bring it up, right? Because we can all see it. We can see that full handle. <laughs> Your little mini bar there. With oh, yeah. Talk about a mini bar. That looks unopened. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I thought he said three days, right? Woo, mama. Complimentary tangare that they give you. Yeah, right. No, they don't. <laughs> you know, your little air conditioning unit there that's very loud. 
I don't know how that's going to work. We'll have to turn it <laughs> off tonight. We'll see. And uh, the bed, queen bed. They don't even have king beds here. Oh, queen for the queen bed for the queen. Here, unless you get like a, a super expensive room, which we did not. We are cutting costs. Uh -huh. Here, your little nightstand. It's kind of tough to say you're cutting costs when you're doing a staycation, isn't it? I mean, they kind of don't work together. Charge stations. A, a mirror here. Whoa. Ooh, what right. Drip we working with? And then your bathroom, which is all. What drip we working with here? Oh, um. oh, very, very chill. Very chill and meaningful. This is the traveling lad. The traveling lad is in the house. <laughs> a mirror here. Whoa. Oh, right? Wow. And then your bathroom, which is also very compact and small. To the left, you've got... We got spray deal. Do we have our powders? That's my first question. Where are the powders? Got your sink. Right? With... Some dispensers of body lotion and liquid soap. <laughs> Tommy Bahama brand. This is your mini dispensers. closet. All right, where you get your towels. This room is some very slippers. You can hang stuff mine. in a safe. A and then your actual bathroom is also very, very compact and small. You've got oh. your typical shower, standing shower with your body gel, conditioner, and shampoo on the this wall. Is very unique. You've got a rainfall shower head, which is nice. We have that at home, too. Your Ooh. toilet, typical toilet, right? A little piece of another unique artwork. <laughs> and, uh... Unique. Uh, toilet paper, and that's it. It's very basic, very bare bones, because... Oh, yeah, it's so basic and bare bones, dude. It's like two... This costs like three dollars. This whole, One night at this hotel is like three dollars. As I said, we don't have a lot of money. We're basically trying to do this on a, on a very fixed budget. Come and, on, man. Uh, you know, Drop have fun the while staying at home. That's why we're in Seattle and not, you know, some other crazy vacation. But it's nice overall. I do like... What? Uh, that's why we're not on some crazy vacation? You can't... Okay. I like the look of the room, the visual style of the room. The cool style. thing is that we're in downtown Seattle and tons of stuff is right within walking distance. In fact, Whoa. we're about to go walk and get some food. It's right nearby. And then we'll probably come back here. We'll settle in. I'll hook everything up to the internet. Uh, you know, we upload this vlog and any others that we do. Oh, I'll probably have like a nice relaxing night unless we feel like maybe later going out and get a snack or something. Did you mention it's owned by the same company as the previous? No. We, uh, oh, if you... Thanks, thanks, thanks for that, thanks for that, Eric. Oh, back about a year now on the other vlogs on this channel, you'll see that in April of 2014, we visited Seattle. Okay. And at that time, we stayed at what was called oh, the thing. Maxwell Hotel. Now, Ooh. that was in the Queen Anne region of Seattle, which is a different region. It's not downtown Seattle. It's further away. What? Huh? And when we stayed there, it's the same hotel owner. So it's kind of the same deal, you know. Oh but it's a little bit of a more compact room to save, save money. So, but the thing is, we're in the thick of things. We're in the thick of things. We don't have to <laughs> be driving. We're in the thick of things. Around too much to do much. We can pretty much walk a lot of places we want to go. So oh, we're dude. starving. We are. We just got oh, here. Here. We're only right. here for about a half an hour, and we're starving. Our dinner time's usually around now. Uh, we're still, we still, we, we still a lot of the times live famished, on, dude. on East Coast time, which is kind of funny. So we're about to head out, get some grub, and uh, then we're gonna probably come back and relax a bit. So whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. He moved into to Washington in June of 2014. It is now February of 2015, and he said they're still on Eastern time. Is that what he just said? Six months now uh, three hour jet lag for six months uh we're still on, we still we, we still a lot of the times live on east coast time which is kind of funny so we're about to head out okay they live on east coast times okay okay get some grub and uh then we're gonna probably come back and relax a bit <laughs> so there you have it we interesting please can we just do something have some fun here all right that was basically meaningless that was a waste of time sorry about that but i wanted to see it anyway anyways now you have an idea Oh, that's a little hint at what we're going to see that with that Pikachu right there. But anyways, let's move on to when we first start talking. Uh, 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 actually, I want to bring this up because uh, DSP Throwback you see on your screen now is actually not uh, what the channel used to be. Uh, this channel used to be known as KO Gaming. And I know most of you will know about KO Gaming and all the great stuff, content that could be found there. Well, this video, uh, the worst game I've ever played, Homefront Revolution was the most popular video on this channel. Uh, as you can see, uh, it was, it has a million point one views, uh, 10 times the next video almost, a little bit less than 10 times the next video uh, views. And, uh, you know, th th some videos had some real traction. Maybe the 66,000, 103,000. Uh, he had some, he had some real, some of this stuff had some legs here, okay? But, 
Uh, when you get a video that has 1.1 million views, you get you get some money for that uh, that endeavor, right? As you should, obviously. Uh, so this just keep that in your mind that this video came out. Uh, this biggest video of all time uh, in the channel came out May 18th of 2016, okay? So May 18th, 2016. He had his biggest video of all Oh, quick, let's check out the new. How are the views going on the new version of KO Gaming, which is DSB Throwback? Five days ago, 165 views. We're popping off, dude. This one might top 200. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, man. This is, this, let's, oh, this one. Oh my God. His last video that had over 300 views was, oh, dude, this is, <laughs> I'm not, there's no joke here, but look, seven, seven days ago, the last time he got a 300 view video was a week ago. Now that's robust. <laughs> All this rigmarole for this. 300? What? <laughs> That's worse than I thought. Oh my God. Nine days ago. Well, this one might get to 300. We're getting there though, dude. Big ups. This is, this one goes one semi-viral here. The whole new, all these new strategies, thumbnails and new titling system. Oh, they're coming in hot, dude. This is going to be great. Just pop it off. Anyways, <laughs> back to this. Uh, yeah, so he got a lot of fucking views. It was going good. I mean, he he, he bitched about it a lot, but at, he had a really fucking viral video in May of 2016. All right? So just keep that in your mind. Let's keep going. Oh, good pose there. Visited for a week, so that time flew by. I am back, and this week I'm coming back in a full time. Oh, time capacity. I have no plans of taking any more time off until sometime in mid to late July Ooh. for like a three day kind of staycation I'm going to do with Leanna in Seattle, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right. It is time to talk. So you heard it. That's the first announcement of the staycation uh, that's going to happen then. And let me get the transcript. Make sure he didn't say anything else about it. I don't think he did, but uh, that's the full announcement, and there wasn't any more. Did he say. I'm not going to search through this whole thing because we got so many videos to get through. Me and Leanna and Seattle. No, he didn't mention it anymore, but there we go. So that's the first mention. This is in uh, June 13th. So remember that video? The video went viral that came out in May. This is June. Okay. Let's keep that going. Let's keep moving. Go Going out to dinner tonight. And I'll in the seat. Nasty like your mama. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> Logan popping off. <laughs> got the girl to pop off. <laughs> Big Ups Logan says, wow, so the staycation was closer to the incident than I remember. He peaked in 2016 in more ways than one. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's the more, more pre-talk of, oh, Logan got the penis sore. Hell yeah. More talk of the uh, staycation. Pre-talk of staycation. Tomorrow, actually, since I'm not doing any gameplay at all, I'm going to spend the whole day with them. Leanna actually has to work tomorrow, so I'll spend the whole day with them tomorrow uh, doing stuff and, you know, talking about the house and the future and stuff like that. And then they actually leave on uh, Saturday. It's our final day with them. So uh, going out to dinner with them again on Saturday oh, parents, and stuff like that. Parents visited, by the way. Parents visited. Like that. So things are going well. I'll tell you right now with the stress. At first, earlier this week, I was very stressed out because it was very hot here in Washington. It was a massive heat wave going <laughs> very on. Very stressed from a heat wave. And it was, like, insanely hot and just disgusting. <laughs> and I was stressed out with my parents arriving and all that and the home improvements and it's calmed down a lot Home now. So it's calmed down. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm actually taking... Daddy, I'm stressed out because you have to do stuff for me. A little bit of extra time to relax, which normally I don't. Usually that's just boom, 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 work, 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 this, 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 that, that, that. And finally, I got a little bit of time this week finally to kind of have some, some downtime and relax a little bit. Uh, uh -huh. And it's helping a lot. It's helping me. I think it, it's going to be cool jumping back in on Sunday for E3. Oh, it's going uh, to be good for me because if I had been overworked this week and then right to E3... Uh, I might have had a more a, a different take on stuff, right? What? So your stress levels affect your takes of E3. Okay. I'm excited. Very normal. I want to say thank you to those of you who were patient this week. Very normal. Uh, who, you know, besides Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I didn't do anything else, right? So thank you for the, for being patient and understanding. But I'll be back in full capacity uh, this coming week. 
And quite honestly, really, the only other... T I will be taking some more time off probably in July. Oh. Uh, because there's not many game releases in July. Last year, night, I actually went through the game release calendar, and mm. holy shit, there's not like so many nothing. game releases, I'm not dude. even kidding you. Like, it is a ghost town this July when it comes to game releases. Now, it picks up a little bit in August. In August, there's a good three or four solid games that I'm interested in. But July is almost dead. So I'll probably be doing downtime games that people have wanted to see me play for a while. I'll probably be focusing on games that I haven't finished, a la Persona 3. If a I la. haven't finished it by then. <laughs> I'll probably be focusing on games that I haven't finished, a la. <laughs> I got to do this for the meme. Praise. A la. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Praise. Persona 3, oh, if I haven't... Oh, fuck. Right. <laughs> play for a while. I'll probably be focusing on games that I haven't finished. I'll... Oh! Ready? Praise. I'll, uh, Persona 3, <laughs> if I haven't finished it by then, which I don't think I will have. Uh, I'll probably be doing maybe some mini marathons and stuff. As you know, my multiplayer marathon is coming up for the patrons. That'll be in July. Anyways, I'm bored. He talked about it. Oh, no, he didn't say that he's doing any... St he, he said that there's not a lot of games coming out, but what else? And I may oh. do some other different kind of What's stuff in July. I got a lot of plans and different stuff that could go on this summer. Mm -hmm. Good point about Persona but, 3. But, uh, yeah. A pretty slow month of July, so I think what I'm going to do in July... Here we go. Here we go. At some point is go on a long weekend with Leanna to Seattle, because we have not actually done something together long like that weekend since in February Seattle. of 2015. We've like literally been locked up in this house, me working every day, mm -hmm. uh, since then. And we would like to go out and actually do something, being ah. that we live right here in this major city and we never take the time to go out and do anything in it. Hype, dude. Uh, we're going to probably go on like a three-day mini vacay. And, uh, <laughs> oh, three-day mini, mini vacay. Uh, and, and, you know, check out Seattle and do some of the stuff we like to do, like maybe do the Seattle uh, Space Needle again. Yeah. And go down to the, to the shoreline. <laughs> and check out things such as uh, the farmer's market oh. and uh, not the farmer's market. What do they call that? I You can't even remember. The, the I love what he talks about, the touristy stuff. Check out the shoreline. <laughs> That's there in the aquarium. We may even go to the zoo again. Oh, cat! if you're watching this stream, turn it off. Okay. I really am, I recommend turning this off. This is going to make you upset uh, because Phil kind of did stuff with Leanna sometimes. But I recognize that you didn't even get that, and I am apologize on behalf of men for that. You can't even remember. The, the market that's there and the aquarium. We may even go to the zoo again. I mean, a lot of stuff that we've wanted to do and we have not done in a million years. So we'll see. We'll all see right? Here. We shall see how it all goes. But just a forewarning, there will be a little bit more time off in July, but that's the perfect time to do it because it's pretty much a dead month. hearing a beeping sound and it's driving me bonkers i don't know what it is <laughs> it's driving me bonkers <laughs> i don't know if it's if i'm hearing things or what <laughs> it's driving me bonkers hmm all right so anyway that's kind yeah, of holy shit i just realized it logan your uh your 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 comment made me think about that the incident was 2016 wasn't it like, we're very close to the incident, aren't we? Like, m massively close. The image was... The incident was too... Oh, please tell me I did this. If I did this, I'm a genius. Damn it, I forgot. Okay, May 1st. Oh, yeah, May 1st. How can I remember that? Of course, May, May 1st. Uh, so, yeah, May, May, June. Yeah, damn. So, we're just a few, a, a few months after that. <laughs> okay. Kind of the rough idea of what to expect coming up. Oh, God, his parents came, like, right after that? His parents came right after the burst. <laughs> his dad took him back, you know? Anything you want to talk about, son? <laughs> In the next couple of weeks to month, I'll give you more info on some stuff. I believe there's some... some Games coming out in late June that I'll be covering and such. But more about that as right. we approach. Thank you for right. re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. Big up. So boys. anyway, everybody. Thank you for being here for the... Okay, we're done. He talked about the state case. You heard a little about the state case. We're on the current course of explaining why it's the best idea ever. We're not missing that much time. If you make fun of the class stream chatter, Derek or otherwise, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> Big up, January Rose.
I think with Kat, she asked to do stuff, and Phil already did that. He tells her, no reason to do that, dude. I've already been, and you won't enjoy it. It's why he won't go to the zoo with her. Yeah, that's a built-in excuse he probably would use. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I ain't been there, honey. Not that cool. I went there with my ex. <laughs> All right, here we go. More talk. Last but certainly not least, I'm giving you guys the way advance heads up on this one. Oh, All thank right? you. The third week of July. So we're talking the week of the 17th through the, th the 23rd. A few days that week, Leanna and I are going to go on a Seattle mini vacation. Oh, mini vacation. It's not a staycation, by the way. Next note, week. All most right. of the verbiage has changed. I've plus my review of Street Fighter Five story. Ask wow. That way advanced head. Talking the week of the 17th through the, th the 23rd. A few days that week, Leanna and I are going to go on a Seattle mini vacation. Whoa, Last cool. time we called it a staycation, and everyone said... That's not a staycation. You're leaving your house and you're going to a hotel. Because people don't seem to understand that Seattle, even though it is a main city, all the suburbs and everything around Seattle are still considered Seattle. All right? <laughs> we, if we go right now to several businesses next to us, they're, they're, they have addresses listed as Seattle. Even though we're not in the city of Seattle, we're a suburb, it's still considered Seattle. Uh -huh. All right? We live in Seattle, but we're not in Seattle. Dude, it's that... pig split. No, okay, this is another case of people changing his life from criticism. <laughs> yeah, debunked. That's the perfect word. Debunked, assholes. <laughs> Just people made fun of the staycation word, and it affected him so much he stopped using it. But he was correct. So let me tell you, I was definitely correct. I was definitely correct. But let me tell you, but let me change how I say the word anyway. So, you're wrong, but yes, I will, I will not use that word anymore because you were wrong. Sound good? <laughs> we actually go to, to the city. It takes us about 45 minutes to an hour, okay? But we can do the drive easily. <laughs> what uh, what we want to do is spend some time together. We have not had time together to do something. If you can believe it, here you go. February of 2015 was the last time we did any kind of a uh, Real quick, just, just for the record here, I can't. I would be remiss not to do this. Uh, staycation, a staycation, or ho holiday, is a period in which an individual or family stays home, stays home, and participates in leisure activities within day trip distance of their home and does not require overnight accommodation. Does not require overnight accommodation. Okay. 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 Vacation at all. And guess what it was? It was Seattle. We had actually had plans last summer to do stuff, and we both got <laughs> sick. We had plans to do something around Christmas, and then with all the stuff that happened with my business at the end of last year, and we were uncertain if we were going to have money to do last anything. Month. We didn't do anything for Christmas. <laughs> so this is it. We've set the dates. We even booked a hotel <gasps> in Seattle, downtown Seattle. We're going there Whoa. that week. Now, I'm not going to tell you exact dates or anything yet. When we get closer, I'll let you know what oh, dates it actually you. will be. But there's going to be a few can days. You, when are you going to tell us the hotel room number? Like, what the fuck? Uh, several days that week. There will not be any live streaming. <laughs> what I'm going to try to do is save up gameplay for you in advance oh. so that I have some videos to schedule out and make live over the course of that week so you still have some gameplay footage to watch. Okay. And we'll be vlogging. We're going to be doing all the fun <laughs> stuff that we like in Seattle. Like this <laughs> We're doing all the fun stuff we like in Seattle. <laughs> Dude, act like he's... Oh, uh-oh. We got t double time. Oh, he's waking up. He's waking up. Oh, get down. Back up. Stop lying. The Space Needle. The uh, EMP Museum that we visited the very first time we were ever here in early 2014. Uh, we're going to be covering... Uh, the Chihuly Glass Gardens, which Ooh, we Chihuly. did last time. Oh my God, that's a beautiful place to walk through. We may be doing the Pacific Science Center. We're gonna go to the Pike Place Market. We're gonna walk down on the water side on the on the docks, and we're gonna see what they have there because sometimes during the summer they have stuff out on the docks. We're gonna go to the aquarium. Remember Whoa. We the aquarium when we first moved here? How awesome that was! We're gonna be doing that again, and then we're gonna be going to the zoo. We're gonna be doing all this stuff within a few short narrow days in July. And we're <laughs> This one is the, okay because he's just he's just ranting. It sounds like he's ranting. Like why? It, like you don't have to convince us, guy. You know, it's like okay, cool, dude. Like what are you doing? But anyways, <laughs> let's get all four today. <laughs> I 
July, and we're going to be vlogging it all, and all those vlogs will be uploaded to my vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs, for you to peruse if you are interested in our vlogging style for stuff. For you to peruse. Outside of gaming. Oh, cool. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So, what a busy month, July. This, this week is packed. We're going to have, you know, time away. It's going to be a crazy month. I hope we can keep this positivity rolling. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, June was a great month. I was not expecting it to be. It was great. If we can keep this going, if I can keep people engaged on my reviews, and maybe this month I'll have some time to actually work on countdowns for KO Gaming, which uh -oh. is something I've wanted to do for quite a long time. It would be awesome, all right? We'll see what happens. <clears throat> but I'm very excited, and I hope that you'll stay engaged and you still continue to enjoy my stuff all this month. Stay all engaged. Right? That is it for the weekend preview. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully, Get out of here. Stuff that people have asked for recently and see gee could i squeeze it in i mean i might be able to now keep in mind keep in mind something everyone next week uh oh next week not this week coming up with you know that i'm talking about the week after that so the third week of july i'm going on break i'm going to break dude i'm going to be taking a three to four day break away from live streaming where liana and i, I are going to be survive. going to seattle I know we live in Seattle, but we live on the outskirts of Seattle. We're actually going to be going into the main city of Seattle and be doing tourism stuff because we have not had time away from work in a long fucking time. And even the time that I took off in June was for my parents. This is where we have to over-explain everything. It wasn't for Leanna and I to spend time together and do stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We're going to do so, tourism. That is the deal, uh, is that I have limited time to get stuff done and play. VJK in the house. Wait, are these vlogs real? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 100% real, VJK. Good luck on your pool. Let's see what you get. True light fan art. Not bad. Not bad. Play stuff. And what I would like to do Free is do what star, you want. Dude. So please let me know. What I think I'm going to do tonight is a poll, either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tonight. I'll do a Twitter poll. Look and how I'll say useless these pre streams were. He got 725 views in 2016. Holy shit. Like, he was wasting time this hardcore back then. What? Hey, should I play? <laughs> if you make fun of any stream chatter, what? Derek or otherwise, you're a fucking loser. Big ups, Copeside Phil. The idea of a staycation is so stupid. All the stuff he says he could see, he could do any day of the week. He always complains he never went on a real vacation. He could have went to Japan, Italy, but no. Yeah, he just wants something to complain about. He wants the lowest effort possible, and staycation with hotel is the laziest way to do it. <laughs> it's like the least effort, because, it, okay, because Leanna has a little bit more spice, cause, so she might really push a little bit and say, like, you know, I kind of want to go somewhere. I'm tired of this. We didn't even go on, you know, can we do something? So Phil's like, all right, fuck. I got I to gotta do something for her. You know, and then he like, what, what's the easiest way to do this? And then I think he decided on this. You know what I mean? But like you say real big vacation too expensive. Wait, do you see how much he spends on this vacation? Visible, visible dimwit. Just watch. You're going to, you're going to see there. He could have went a lot of places with the amount of money he spent here. Or just a little bit more and made it even better. All right. Keep this in your, we'll get to the prices. Don't worry. Big ups, Polar Eel. Says DSP's Pokemon Go name was They Call Me DSP. Oh, don't worry. We're getting to DSP Pokemon Go. Play we'll Ghostbusters there. this week. Okay. If not, I'll ask people to respond to that poll and tell me what I should play this week in place of Ghostbusters. And we'll go from there. Yeah, that's the All poll. Right? Yeah, that's, that's it. Um, that's so there you go. That's the rough idea for the week. Today and tomorrow, right, Resident Evil care. 5. A new DSP tries don't it care. today. Don't care. Probably some mercenaries. 725 mode. people watched this video. 725. 18 minutes of schedules. Very important. Gameplay streams, tons of, you know, new gameplay and stuff coming out. Um, now. Purposely, so that way when we get there, we can figure it out rather than me promising you the world and then something happens during the week and then it doesn't happen. <laughs> we can figure it out rather than me promising you the world and then something happens during the week and then it doesn't happen. All right. What was that? So that's the deal for this coming week. A lot, right. a lot of variety in the stuff that you can expect coming out of me. Two reviews for KO Gaming. A lot of variety in the stuff you can expect coming out of me. Yeah, eczema ooze, gout crystals, Italian oil. A lot of variety in the stuff that you can expect coming out of me. Two
reviews for KO Gaming, <laughs> tons of gameplay streams, tons of you know new gameplay and stuff coming out. Um, now, uh oh, next week, making this abundantly clear, and now I'm going to explain about all that gameplay that I have saved up that I hadn't uploaded yet. All right. Oh. This Next cool. week, starting on Monday, July 18th, July 18th I'm taking time off. I'm actually going on a real break. Like, not a break for my parents to visit and do stuff with them. No, a real break. Really when you're, if, you, if you're not working when your parents visit your house, that's still a break, brother. You're not working. I know what he's trying to say, but he's like, finally, I can take a break. But you were taking a break when your parents were there, too. Anna and I, for the first time since February of 2015, we're going. Yeah, Spoonie Ton, we, we talked about it in the beginning. I'm not going to ruin the stream. <laughs> but yeah, we showed how this happened just a few months after the Homefront million view video, and it's probably a big point of why he went. I'm going to take time out to do something together, all right? It's been that long. Uh-oh. Like, that was the last time we actually went and did something Who's fun together Who's outside of just going somewhere local. We actually are taking time out of each other. You're still going somewhere local. So there's work schedules to do, like, a mini vacation all right okay we live in the outskirts of seattle <laughs> we're gonna go into actual seattle oh we're hope they're hope they're getting the geared up dude you better bring your body armor full body armor <laughs> he's going into seattle big up scope side phil real break it didn't even leave the state that's a real break dude going to do tourism in seattle including things like the space needle yes the chihuly glass gardens Chihuly. the emp museum Ooh. we may do the pacific science center we want to go to pike place market How we actually want to go down near the water and check out the aquarium and maybe go on a ferry ride and have all kinds of dining and stuff in that area we actually want to do the the seattle zoo we want to dude he talks like a brochure we're gonna do tourism stuff <laughs> We're going to do dining there. Do all this stuff <laughs> in about a three to four day kind of block. All right. So that's going to start uh, thanks on Monday, the, July 18th. Point at the calendar, please. Now that means, duh, I'm not here and I'm not going to be live streaming. Probably the return of my live streaming will be that Friday, which is the 22nd. So Whoa. you're talking from the 18th. Until the 21st, you're not going to see any live streams oh of gameplay God. at all. I might out not of me. survive. All right. But <laughs> Was he pledging? <laughs> He's pledging. I pledge to you, under God, indivisible. <laughs> I will not be streaming for the following three-day block. <laughs> what? Right. But I don't want to leave everyone high and dry. I don't want to leave you hanging with nothing going on and no new videos. And you know, I don't want anything to. <laughs> yeah, that's it, my fellow Americans. I am taking three days off. Agnate that week because I'm on break. So, oh. what I'm going to do is take all of the gameplay that I haven't uploaded yet, including the remaining Ibuki online gameplay Ibuki. matches, the matches I did with patrons in Street Fighter V, the matches I did with random viewers in Street Fighter right, V, the matches no of Rocket about. League that uh -huh. I did with patrons, and this... Oh, yeah, I gotta... Okay, sorry for field trip. <laughs> oh, Cope Side Phil, big bullshit. up. Got the Hogan. Nice. <laughs> I want to see a mini, mini field trip. Mini field trip. How was DSP at Rocket League? I don't think I've ever seen it. And I've got to kind of... Learning the ropes. The first match, best player. Okay. All right, I'm starting my first match ever of first Rocket match. League. No, I don't want to see his first match because everyone sucks their first match. Let's go to like... Okay, part... How about part 20... 23? <laughs> there. Well, we it looks like we just got another standard match coming up here. Here we go. Oh, nice copes, I feel. <laughs> I kind of want to see how he's... <laughs> What's he doing? Like, how his teamwork is, you know? Or does he just, like, there's the ball, chase the ball kind of play? Which I'm assuming. See ball, chase ball. There's the ball, gotta hit it. Style. Shit, we collided and popped it up. <laughs> Riveting. Oh god, that's not good. That's not good. Like no, no! one has. Oh, like, no they one can blew do that. tricks in the beginning. All three see, of them like, were there wide open. They fucking teamwork. blew it. I think that's what I'm more interested in. How is his game theory? And someone ran into me randomly and blew me the fuck up. God damn it. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Alright, this is kind of boring too. He's not really doing it. He's just not a very impactful player. He's kind of just like being. Oh. He's existing. <laughs> Whoa, got a break. 
Nope, deflected it. He's, he's using so little boost. Do you know what boost is? I don't think he knows what boost is. You're not subscribed to the channel. Are you using boost? What? Damn, right now. Back and forth, back and forth. Do you, do you know what boost is? <laughs> okay. Shit. I, I guess he used it just for like shots. Like, he's not using boost at all. You got, oh, hello. <laughs> How did I miss? What? I missed that somehow. Wow. <laughs> somehow? Just a bit outside. <laughs> How did I miss? What? I missed that somehow. Wow. Somehow? <laughs> that ball didn't even feel the wind. Hello? Oh, oh that was powerful. <laughs> that was very powerful. Nice shot, dude. Nice center. Fuck. All right, anyway, we get the point. That's that's a good to say you don't play watch maybe someday because this looks kind of good. <laughs> coming weekend if i do a big session of say overwatch or if i play more street fighter 5 whatever it may be i may have some excess videos of that too oh so my plan is to give is you to all the upload shit. a set a day okay right now i have about three to four various sets of videos so that's good it's good to spread out amongst four days okay oh. so it won't be the most eventful stuff it certainly won't be a new ongoing playthrough or anything it like that but for those who like watching my stuff daily you'll have videos every single day during that time off uh, that I'm away. That's good and then, of course, when I return that Friday, I'll hit the ground running again. I'll get right back into If I missed out on any releases or anything that week, I'll check them out that Friday. If not, then maybe I'll do more Persona 3. You know, we'll figure it out. We'll play it by ear. Okay. okay. We'll play it by ear. Now. Now. Before we get too far. This is where you come in. I will be doing new stuff while we're out. In fact, I'm going to be filming. I'm going to take my, my camcorder with me, and we'll be vlogging all the stuff. You know, I haven't done vlogs of a trip. In a million years. Like, I almost... Uh, it's been... Oh, my God. The last time we did it was, like, February, I think, of 2015. Serious? I think we went to the Emerald City Comic Con, and I think we did a few of the things that we wanted to do on, like, a mini trip. So, I'm going to be documenting things at the, the zoo, at the aquarium. They're going to have a lot of this kind of video okay, on the King of Hate vlogs right here <laughs> next week. This is the kind <laughs> of video you're going to see here. Mine so... Nasty like your mama. I talk a lot of shit because I fucks with the drama. Big ups, Copes I fail. Says he's so bad at team games. He never works the team, and he always plays a one-man Rambo. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, he doesn't even think I would. Oh god, look at this. Look at this uh, freeze frame. <laughs> Top the ceiling demon. That's a rare. That's a rare one right there. You rarely see that ceiling demon coming down from the rafters. <laughs> I'm for. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I love watching him. In t I want to see him in team games with playing with other people because that's really rare. I know he does sh shooters and shit, but like you don't need that much teamwork in those. But like Rocket League, you, you do need to work with teammates in some way. But I don't, don't think he has that capability. Warning all of you. Uh oh. You may not Warning. be used to it. Warning. But next week Warning. you're probably going to see a lot of videos on this particular <gasps> channel what? because I'm going on time off and I'll be sharing my vlogs of my trip. Aww. It's hilarious because typically, as oh, you know, funny. not a lot of videos get uploaded to this channel. And then when I go on a trip, I upload my trip vlogs and people will always comment, why is he spamming the channel with his videos? I don't Dang understand God. why is it... Because this is my fucking vlogging <laughs> channel. That's the purpose of the channel is to share that stuff with you. Oh. If you don't want that, why are you subscribed to the, my vlogging channel? Why There's other <laughs> places to go for... If you don't want that, why are you... Why is he saying channels are physical places to go? Okay? Watch him, watch him point to the various places you can go. Subscribe to the live vlogging channel. There's other places to go for stuff that won't have that kind of content. We can go to the top right corner, the top left corner. So I, it always baffles me. There's always people who complain about things they asked for. They signed up for it, and then they complain when it happens. So next week, for warning everyone, uh -oh. there will be a lot of videos on this channel from Monday to Thursday. All of our vlogs from the trip. Including our, you know, we'll probably show off our hotel we're staying at and yeah. food we have and all kinds of stuff. I'll be Instagramming. That's another thing. Instagram ESP on Instagram. Ooh, I'll be I'm showing pictures now. during the course of the day. And so You'll here's be a Instagram. We'll upload later tonight as a video. And we're gonna try to get Pokemon Go <gasps> to actually work because we have not been able to get it to work for the past couple of days. It doesn't work in our house. It doesn't work in our neighborhood. Oh, this is we went driving hype, yesterday. Dude. We did shopping. Excited now. The servers kept saying they were down. So I don't know what's going on. We've had no luck with Pokemon Go. Tomorrow we're gonna or tomorrow next week we're gonna try it when we're actually in Seattle. 
Oh the my cool God. thing is, how cool would it be if, like, we're at the Space Needle, this monument in Seattle, and there's Pokemon there to catch, and we're catching Pokemon and doing <laughs> does, videos of does it. Does Phil think Pokemon Go is real? <laughs> how cool would it be if there's Pokemon to catch there? Oh, look, honey. There's the Pikachu. Get it. Throw the ball at it. <laughs> <laughs> you woke him up! <laughs> you woke him up! <laughs> we're at the Space Needle, this monument in Seattle, and there's Pokemon there to catch, and we're catching Pokemon and doing videos of it, right? Uh -huh. We're gonna do that kind of stuff, so we'll see. Let's play by ear, let's see how it goes. Playing by ear, a mobile game. I'm certainly hoping for the best. Oh man, that sounds And then really it goes hype. smoothly, alright? So, that's oh next week. God, you gotta I'll tell you, you more even specific details about it next week in preview, but I'm just forewarning everyone way early here, a full week. That week, no live streams. There will be okay. videos, but it won't be ongoing gameplay. It'll we'll be the try stuff to that I haven't uploaded yet. We'll try to survive. Next one. What we'll upload later tonight as a video, and we're going to try... Uh. All right. So, that's next week. I'll tell you, give you more even specific details about it. Next week in preview, but I'm just for Oh, I said that. Sorry. Here we go. I'll probably be craving playing it. And uh, I'll be trying to... <laughs> Basically, I'm actually going to start. <laughs> it's official now. Monday, July 18th. Oh. All right. We got Monday, dates. July 18th. Monday? Uh, I think he said Monday. July 18th. Hold on. My time off is actually going to start. Okay. It's official now. Monday, July uh, 18th. Monday. My bad. My bad. All right. Monday, July oh, 18th. No, I was right. There it is. He says it twice, but the second one gets the Monday. Monday, July 18th. That's fine. Here we go. All right. Monday, July 18th. <laughs> uh, Leanna and I are going to be heading into Seattle. Monday. To do some tourism, sightseeing, having some fun stuff. Monday. Uh, the stuff that we've enjoyed doing the, the couple times that we've been down there. We want to do it again because we haven't had a chance to really do anything. Oh, cool. For over a year together. Over a year. Holy and shit, this is our dude. opportunity to do it during the slow summertime months when we know there's not a lot going on. Hell yeah. So what we'll pr tr probably try to do <gasps> is try to do? pair that week with other videos that I have surplused up. So perfect example. Is that a verb? Is, can you surplus something? I thought it was like you can have a surplus. You can cause a surplus. But can you surplus something? Like as an active verb. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Mang <-a -mang. laughs> That's Italian style. Mang -mang. <laughs> Example here. Um, I have... Wait, wait let me hear the surplus again. I need to get your take on Perfect this. example here. Uh -huh. Other videos that I have surplused up. Surplused up. So you could, I'm going to post up the videos I surplused up. Cool. <laughs> so a perfect example here. Um, I have a bunch of Street Fighter videos saved up. I actually have some matches that I did with patrons. Then I actually have some matches that I did with random players. Uh -huh. And then oh, I have surplus. the right. rest of the Ibuki you, footage, the Ibuki matches that I played Ibuki. all this week. In addition, I have Rocket League matches right, saved up from you. Friday. I did Rocket League with patrons on Friday. Whoa. So I have a bunch of gameplay saved up that I have not uploaded yet. In addition, I get the feeling that this week with, like I said, if I do something like Overwatch or something this weekend, you said this literal maybe I'll even thing. have more of a surplus. I don't know. But what I'm going to probably end up doing is for that little bit of time off that we'll be taking for a few days oh, a little bit since of there won't off. be live streams i'll just be uploading that footage to dsp gaming gradually and what we'll be doing is filming vlogs of all the, the stuff we'll be doing uh, in seattle now fading. one thing one that thing. everyone's been asking me about and i've answered a million times yet people apparently haven't been hearing the answer yeah what is everyone's it? been asking me uh when, what, what about asking. pokemon go phil Pokemon Go has viral popularity, and you should be playing Pokemon Go. Why aren't you playing Pokemon yeah. Go? Uh, I already answered this. I answered it earlier this week on social media and on Ask the King. I love it. when He, 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 he will explain something 14 times, but if you ask him to, you know, some clarification on something, I think you're an asshole, you know? Oh, I already talked about this, but uh, guess I got to talk about it again. We got some idiots out there. It's like, come on. I'm, I'm asking People a question. People keep asking me. You should be loving this. 
I answered it earlier this week on social media and on Ask the King, but people keep asking me. We can't get Pokemon Go to work. Uh, we both have it. Both Leanna and I have it. And when we're in the house and we walk around, it doesn't detect that we're moving. So we can't even pick our starter Pokemon. It just doesn't work. <laughs> and then yesterday we <laughs> said, well, we're moving? actually going out on Saturday to do some shopping. And we went out to dinner and we said, let's test it now. So we did. Yeah. And every time that we tried to get the game working on our phones, it said server error, cannot connect to server. Or what was it? Server is not available at this time. Please try again later. So Pokemon Go is a no-go for us right now. <laughs> what we're actually hoping. Pokemon Go is a no-go, dude. Want to check out the Black Current? This is a uh, mini field trip because obviously the link is there, so. Let's check out the Black Current, dude. This is the Mandarin Spice Wax Tarts. Uh, let's zoom in here. This is by Leanna, Seattle, Washington. She had 350 sales when this was, you know, when this was saved. Big ups, David. Oh, nice. Significant mother, moving, new house. Good up, big ups, dude. We got Yuzu Glycerin Soap. We got Wasabi Glycerin Soap. Oh, big ups. This is uh, Leanna Shop. Oh, wait. Where are the... Can I read the reviews? We got to check the reviews. Oh, fuck. I tried. Oh! Is that maybe when we go to Seattle next week? As we walk around downtown Seattle? You know, we're talking the big part of the city, not... We we live in a suburb of Seattle. Maybe if we get into the main city portion of Seattle... and we... We're going downtown. Hell yeah, brother. We're going downtown. Walk around the landmarks, right? We're going to do things like probably the Space Needle and Pike Place Market. All the things that are synonymous with tourism in Seattle. Maybe <laughs> then we can actually get the app to work and we can start taking pictures and stuff of stuff we're doing in Pokemon Go as we walk around the, uh, you know, the city. So we'll see. You know, I'd like, I'd obviously like to share and play it and share it with everyone like a bunch of other people have been yeah, doing. I, can. I got you. But if the game don't work, the game don't work. And right now, it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, everybody. All right, else, so, sir. Hello? So that's the deal. Okay. It's a Pokemon no go. Yeah, Pokemon no go. You already said the joke. It's kind of takes away the effect if you keep. Oh, uh, not much else to talk about right now. Not much okay. else going on. Um, you know, it's gonna be a, I think a fun week. Even if everything I do this week kind of stinks. Which I don't think it will. Usually the zombie co-op is a lot of fun. So regardless, I think that the zombie co-op will actually be pretty fun. But even if Ghostbuster sucks, which it probably will, right? Um, I think it's still going to be a fun week of, you know, doing different kinds of stuff, a variety of stuff, doing videos for KO Gaming, which is great. I'm glad that so far I've been able to put out consistent content for that channel. I was worried for a bit that I wouldn't be able to do that. And once I come back right, from this time bored. off... Bored. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, big ups Fury. Thinking. So for the next few days, the rough schedule. Today, Fury on stream. All right. Hope you finished that. Uh, tonight is up in the air. You I might rage quit that, right? Actually do some Mercs co-op with Leanna in Resident <laughs> Evil 5. Or I may work on this Call of Duty review. We'll see. All right. Mercs. Tomorrow is also up in the air. It depends. I might do more Fury. If I don't really like Fury that much, maybe I'll do something different. <clears throat> and then Saturday and Sunday, you're going to see uh, an Overwatch stream and a Persona 3 stream. All mm -hmm. right. Um, Monday, I'm t it's, that's it, my time off begins. And I'll be in Seattle, I'll be vlogging, and I'll be Instagramming pictures of stuff that we're doing in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> including Pokemon Go, which we're gonna try to do in the actual downtown city, which will be pretty cool. Catching Pokemon in front of landmarks and stuff could be pretty sweet. Um, but, in addition to that, you know, we'll be vlogging stuff, and I'll be uploading vlogs to the King of Hate vlogs. Uh -huh. And there will be gameplay. Even though no live streams, there'll be tons when of gameplay. When you put it like this, you really see how he just repeats the same exact thing. Endlessly. Like, he gets stuck in these loops of saying the exact same spiel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, God, sorry. <clears throat> we're, we're only two videos away from the actual trip, so let's just hang on. But holy shit. <clears throat> oh, man. Are <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> we okay? <clears throat> oh man! <clears throat> We're dying. Me. Hang on. <clears throat> Hang oh, man. on. <clears throat> oh David, sorry, I'm a little pissed off that again. I'm still congested. And yes, I still have nasal drip. It's been going on for like three straight weeks now. It's pissing I got the me drip off. Going. <clears throat> oh! But anyway. Oh! 
Oh my god! I can't survive that one. Hope you're not in the car with the with the sound boosted right now, because you might you might run off the road. Ready? Here we go. Three straight weeks now is pissing me off. Oh. But anyway, oh. um, oh. yeah, the, some of the videos, FYI, that I'll be uploading next week when I'm away and not live streaming. Well, there's a session of Street Fighter V that I did with viewers uh, and also with patrons. So a bunch of online Street Fighter V multiplayer that I never uploaded. That'll be going live. I also did a session of Rocket League. <laughs> with viewers and patrons Patriot, that uh, patrons. I will be uploading. That was a bunch of fun matches to get to upload. Um, there's also the reminder of my Ibuki matches Ibuki. in Street Fighter V. When I checked out Ibuki last week, I never finished uploading those. So we've got some of that. Oh. And uh, cool. if I have a chance and I play with Liana doing co-op and Mercs of Resident Evil 5, we'll have that. So right now, I'll already have around three to four sets of video footage. To go live during the time when I'll be away and I won't be uploading daily. Yeah, okay? Chew would like that, dude. So that's Don't good. think you have to do anything like that, buddy. That's good. And then when I get cool, back yeah, would like from it, my time like off that. this week around <laughs> Friday, love it, but probably Friday Don't the 22nd, I'll be like returning. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll probably be continuing on with Persona 3. Uh, you know, we'll see if I feel like doing any any other kind of multiplayer at that point. Maybe if Fury, if I'm still playing it, Fury? I don't know how long this game is. Okay, I'm done with this. If I'm still playing it, maybe I'll want to continue. starting to lose the known game. the same spiel 18,000 times. I know I said we're supposed to stick through this, but... And I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with the performance of the channel. Oh, so thank with... you to those shit. But yeah, pretty good. What are we pretty good with? for a game review for a piece of shit. Ah. And I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with the performance of the channel. I'm very, uh, very pleased with the performance of the channel. Uh, you know what he's pleased about? He's pleased about one million views. That's what he's pleased about. So thank you to those of you who have checked out KO Gaming, who are spreading the word about it. It is definitely worth my time to invest the amount of time that I'm putting into the channel, uh -huh. which is why I'm looking forward to doing another a video for it tonight regarding Fury. Ho so keep that in mind. He loves it, right? He's fucking loving it. It's worth the time he's putting in. This is not a KO Gaming downfall video, so we're not going to go that deep, but just keep that in mind. It's worth the time he's putting in. He's not been on the staycation yet. We're almost there. Hopefully get some awareness out there of a, a lesser known game, right? So what else is going on? Uh, not much, I just told you about the weekend, my plans. Can we just start um, this? This coming week, like, starting imagine on Monday, that. I'm taking some- All right, so what's going on? Not much, but still got some time to fill. 721 views. Time off, you won't see me here live streaming uh, no, until still Friday of this week coming up. So a full week, well not a full week, because I'll be streaming the next couple days. <laughs> Oh! But, uh... Come on! What? This is bionic! Well, not a full week, because I'll be streaming the next couple days. Holy shit! That was massive! But, uh... Oh. The weekdays, I will not be streaming. Because I will be on a mini-vacation. I say mini-vacation because... I actually live in Seattle. I just live on the outskirts of Seattle. How many times? Say outskirts one more time. I dare you. A kind of a suburb. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do is Leanna and I are going to go into the main city of Seattle to spend a few days together and do some tourism style stuff. You know, we'll be hitting up all the landmarks that we saw years ago when we first visited this this uh, part of the country. We'll be doing some restauranting. <laughs> we'll all. <laughs> you can't say restauranting. All right. Surplus as a verb, we learned that was the true, but I am not even asking. I am telling you, restauranting is not a verb. <laughs> Part of the country will be doing some restauranting. We'll also be uh, checking out the aquarium, the zoo. We're going to be doing a lot of aquariuming. <laughs> we'll doing some aquariuming, restauranting, tourist, touristing. What fun else? Fun stuff in Seattle for a few days. That'll be fun, dude. So while we're out there. We're going to be vlogging. We're also going to try oh, out Pokemon B Go plus. and see if it actually works in a city, which would be pretty cool. You know, B+, plus, I keep fucking thinking about making that video, put, make, doing a stream like that, comparing things that Amber Lynn has done and Phil has done, and has nothing to do with food. Like, you know, it's not about... But they both do the same kind of thing, and Amber Lynn herself did staycations as well, and they explain it the same fucking way. You know, doing Pokemon Go in a major city. Of course, we don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll just have to see. Um. All right. Uh, but going. while we're doing that, I'll also be posting up on social media and stuff like that. So it's going to be a fun few days and something completely different from what I usually do. Now, 
FYI, just uh -oh. because I'm not going to be here live streaming doesn't mean there's not going to be new videos. In fact, there's going to be tons of new videos. Whoa. I have now accumulated quite a lot of c content for you. Yeah. Uh, that I will be Hell uploading yeah. over the course of the week. All right. Okay. So here's the deal. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, no live streams. But here's some of the videos that are going to be going live on DSP Gaming Dude, we're during the course the of the week. Same spiel. First off, we've got same. Street Fighter V matches against both patrons of mine and against randoms i had a day a couple weeks ago <laughs> where i was playing street fighter 5 online mm -hmm. and i played both against a couple patrons of mine who definitely wanted to get a bunch of solid sessions in but then a few random matches as well you asked so all well. of those will be uploaded <clears throat> and that's always fun to see me play against random people online is it then there will be the conclusion of my street fighter 5 ibuki matches I, ibuki was one of the two new characters in street fighter 5 a couple weeks ago and I played a bunch of matches with her online, and I only uploaded the first half. So the second half of those matches will be going live. Oh, my God. In addition, I also teamed up with a few patrons to play Rocket League. And we played about 90 minutes or so of Rocket League gameplay. It was a lot of fun. It was crazy. Some of the matches were down to the wire. It was pretty wild, and, and I love that game, even though it is a silly game. It's a game that I'll probably go back it's to from silly? time to time. Um, but anyway, I got those matchups that I never uploaded, so those will be uploaded during the week. And then, last night, Leanna and I actually did about two hours of co-op in Resident Evil 5 playing the Mercenaries mode. In fact, we played every single map except for one. I think we did, we, so it was like seven or eight videos, because I think there's like seven or eight maps in the game for Mercenaries. <laughs> silly? So yeah, we played each map, and basically we did a, a dry run where we would like kind of suck and die quickly. And then we did a second run where we tried to do our best. And it's funny because some we actually got oh, S funny. ranks and stuff in some of the maps. We did pretty well. So co-op gameplay with Leanna on Resident Evil 5 Nine will also be uploaded during the course. Don't give a shit. I can't, I can't handle it anymore. Last video before the vacation starts. Last one, I promise. Oh yeah, Christian C in the house. This should be a good one. I'm from Seattle and can't imagine spending any money on vacation from Renton. It's literally a 15, 20 minute drive. Well, clearly you haven't been to the shoreline or done restauranting, aquariuming, glass museuming, whatever the fuck you talked about. It's hype, dude. Christian, you gotta enjoy your the urban style part of your city. Downtown. All that's coming in a nutshell. That that the tagline we're going with? <laughs> Ten sec. Hello. Ten seconds. Eleven. I'm not muted. And now we have intro. Holy shit! Hello. <laughs> okay. Thirty seconds now. Yeah, we're iceberging. This is definitely... 36! <laughs> oh, God! Th th this is normal? That was a normal intro? I love this. Watch the wake up. Watch this. The wake up into... Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so I want to go slow here because there's kind of a weird. Oh, who knows when he's gonna hit the button? Oh my god, dude, hit the button! All right, so first we get this. I don't know how you pull this off, but first we have this. Then that climbs chimes in, and then we wake up like he gets shot with the electricity. Oh. <laughs> All right, what is up, everyone? DSP here, and welcome to the week in preview. preview Today dude. is Sunday, July seventeenth, twenty sixteen. Stay case with WPIG sixty fifty one in a I'm good Dark way. Side. Hell yeah! We've had an interesting month in here. July so far. Right, this, this in particular video, this week, in, this week for the first time in a year and a half, I'm actually taking some significant oh, time away from here. daily live streaming and making new gameplay videos on a daily basis to take a few days off and actually do some relaxation over here in the city of Seattle, which I live about 45 minutes outskirts? away from. I actually outskirts? live in an outskirt or suburb of Seattle. <laughs> <Tell us you're clears throat> outskirts. So in essence, I'm taking a short vacation this week, all right? I figured this would be the perfect time to do so. 
because as you know, the summer typically is the slowest time for new video game releases, and in this particular, this July has it's, been- By the way, oh yeah, that's like your mama. By the way, all these videos I showed you took place in a two-month period. So imagine if you watched all these, like, you, you, you have to be insane like us to watch all these. <laughs> Copeside Phil, five bronze star Deadpool says he says he's gotten better, but he had intros, played with patrons, and he hasn't as wasn't as toxic. Now he has none of that, and he's always toxic. Yeah, like this seems. I mean, he's more chill. He's more animated. He has more energy. I'll put it that way. And slow as dripping molasses. It just has been no new. As slow as dripping molasses. And slow as. Dripping molasses. It uh -huh. just has been no Thanks, new high-profile game back to at bed, buddy. all. In fact, if you actually look at the stuff that I've done so far this July, right? It was playing and finishing up uh, a new game from the makers of Limbo. Um, checking out the new DLC from Street Fighter V, including two new characters and the, the story mode that was released at the very oh, beginning of this shit. month. Uh, a patron fan... Uh, appreciate, uh, excuse me. A patron uh, multiplayer event... Uh, where I played multiplayer with Here. Patreon bag talk about I hope you enjoyed the video Please spread the word if people have questions about I'll this week the word. without further ado. Thank you to the following June patrons did who help made a lot of this possible oh, with their ongoing <laughs> What is this? He's, they're getting the zig heil Hey patrons big up and dude June patrons who have made Salute. a lot of this possible with their <laughs> ongoing support Please consider nice pledging patrons. for this month for that next patrons choice playthrough Peace out, everyone. I'll see you later this week for live streaming. In the meantime, follow me at They Call Me DSP on Twitter, where I'll be putting up pictures and tweets and everything about what we're doing on our vacation. Thanks for the And you'll know exactly tweet. what's coming every day. Peace out, everyone. Thanks a lot. I'll see you this Friday. <laughs> That's the other. Uh, oh! We got people, all the people that need help. Yeah. Papa needs At oh Atlas the bookkeeper Atlas Telema his previous name Planet Jeff anyone else you recognize oh that's bullshit yeah Popsicolo all the all the friends nightmare rotation right here <laughs> oh the bus stop the short bus stop. <laughs> People all need help. Get help there. Oh, Vidar Viking. <laughs> oh, so that's Mr. Sam. Shout out. <laughs> Who? Oh, Bob Starsky. Bobby, right there. We got Bob Starsky. Maceo. <laughs> oh, Adam! Adam Krigler! Sweet, dude. A lot of fun. Oh, Bob Starsky again. Double Patreon. <laughs> Alright. Dan the Man. Yeah, Dan could have been Dan the Man. Correct. Okay. Now it is time to go on the actual twit trip. Are you guys ready? Alright. So, somehow... Somehow, this video is 17 minutes long. And we, I remember I showed you the 2015 video when it was like four minutes? This is 17, all right? So let's enjoy the hotel. Uh, oh, right on time, Chad. He, got, he heard the, the call. <laughs> Adam Krigler. <laughs> all right, everyone. Welcome to our Seattle 2016 okay. vacation vlogs. They begin right now. We drove about, about an hour, I would say, <clears throat> to downtown, oh, downtown Seattle to our hotel room. You know, a lot of people say, but Phil, I thought you two live in Seattle. Well, Seattle might... Say outskirts again. I dare you. Like most major metropolitan cities, is huge. It encompasses not only a major uh -oh. kind of... In, uh, you know, city uh, skyscraper oh. style area, but it also has an 
side scraper style area. Industrial area, it has suburban area, and we actually live in the far suburbs of Seattle. Uh, some places say that they're Seattle, some don't, but we technically live in that, that in-between area. Typically, it takes about 45 minutes to drive into downtown Seattle for us, mm -hmm. but today it took about an hour because there was lots of traffic and lots of construction mm -hmm. around, in particular, the hotel we're staying at, which we're going to announce momentarily here. Going so to as announce? soon as you walk into our hotel... What is this, a press conference? We're going to announce our hotel in a, momentarily. So all nice gray walls, which we actually like. The gr dark gray uh, paint job in this room. Okay. okay. Oh you walk God. into your left, you immediately get... Some kind of hipster artwork. That's right, because this is a hipster hotel. I'm not. I thought it was unique. Previously, it was unique, and now it's this is now hipster. Even kidding you, like one million percent hipster. To the right, we crammed our luggage here next to our armoire. All right. <laughs> it's a armoire. Towel that I used to dry up a little bit over in the mini bar area. I'll show you in a few minutes. I well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I used this to dry up. It's a towel that I used to dry up a little bit over in the mini bar area. I'll show what you. What are, are you drying up yourself, sir? In a few minutes. And here's the armoire. <laughs> Comes with a little <laughs> mini safe. Eh? You know, a uh, blow dryer, your, your standard uh, iron, things to hang. I actually hung my, uh, my, my jacket here. <laughs> and I put all my clothes down at the bottom of the armoire. And you might wonder why, and I'll show you why in a few minutes, why I was forced to do that. Okay. <laughs> so it's quite a lot. You might wonder why I'll show you. You made a mess that fast? I'll show you why in a few minutes why I was forced to do that. Okay. Okay, mess <laughs> so already. It's quite a large armoire. That's nice. To the left is the bathroom. Okay, cool. Right outside of the bathroom, we've well, got your... We got the drip. We got tight shirt rocking. Ready for a night... Uh, who, let, who let the dogs out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. That's what Leanna's getting later. Got your mirror. At least he got socks. I mean, I'm thankful for socks. Into the bathroom. Very modern, this room. Look, red, well, dark red walls, right? <laughs> dark red paint job in the bathroom. Oh, that's some wallpaper coming off the wall. That's nice. Um, very modern. And here's your sink. Very basic, very small. On kind of a glass ledge. What's modern exactly? Edge, and there's this long... Oh, the glass shelf. Okay, that's the modern part. Glass ledge along this wall-length mirror in the bathroom where we placed all of our toiletries and things that we brought from home, basically. Holy shit, that's a lot of stuff. And put it up there for us to use while we're here. Of course, you know, they have their own, oh, soap or whatever, but... <laughs> he did the stupid O oh, for soap. He said, oh, they got, of course they got their, oh, soap. <laughs> you can't do that. That's illegal. Put it up there Listen. for us to use while we're here. Of course, you know, they have their own, oh, soap or whatever, but let's face it. <laughs> I, th I was kind of joking, but I said it's real. Leanna, for us to use while we're here. Of course, you know, they have their own, oh, soap or whatever, but Whoa, let's face soap. it, Leanna makes soap that's much better than what they have. So we actually yeah. bought our own soap that she had made and put it down here in the shower. Oh, Here's yeah, Leanna, they're using only, only fucking black current. The toilet, nothing to write home about. A standard toilet. Nothing special, right? Here's where you put all your, or the uh, oh. towels and rags and such. Here's the bathroom view, which is basically just a view of a tree. So not too bad, right? Privacy. Here is the... Uh, privacy in the toilet window? You have blinds. What are we talking about? The actual shower tub and shower and it actually has one of those bend out bars that gives you almost twice the amount of room in the shower which is awesome i actually wanted to do one of those back when i moved it to my condo in connecticut if you can believe it but it would not fit properly oh so it's nice to finally get if you can believe it but it would not fit properly so it's nice to finally have one here at the shower here in our hotel don't you like those curved out bars so very basic Nothing too amazing, nothing too super deluxe. A standard size bathroom, not nothing huge, a little small. I mean, it's up, Lord Kane. So it sounded like he was scared of the soap. Oh yeah, he, he, he I think he had that plug in his mind. That's why he kind of did the Ugh, soap. The <laughs> end, I said, you know, probably it's gonna have to be one of us in here at a time, and two of us are in here. You know, it's actually pretty. We might cramped, touch each other. So, be one of us in here at a time, and two of us are in here. You know, it's uh -huh. actually pretty cramped. So we might have physical contact, and that's the one thing you know I can't do, Leanna. So, as you turn right, you head into the bedroom. So, here we are. 
Easy boys. That's your name. This is the hipster hotel with very hipster artwork as you can see here. Iron and wine. Uh, oh yeah, look at this hipster art, dude. This is so hipster. What's going on here? <laughs> the shepherd's dog and actually has a little thing here that you can scan down here. It tells oh, you who the artist is and if you go Wait, what? QR codes? What is this hipster hey, shit? Go to that website and you scan that you can This fucking hipster shit. It's pissing me off. What is this fucking QR code? Find out about it and probably Big up's Coldy. Buy a copy of it for yourself. Woo! What I love you, cool? Seattle! I got a Growlithe! A Growlithe! I don't know how to fucking pronounce it anymore. I don't know. Here yeah. we've got a lamp. And then next to the lamp, a very hipster clock. It's supposed to be a throwback clock that looks much like an old style clock. Uh, why is everything hipster? Help! Why is everything hipster? Because it's cool? <laughs> Uh, an old style clock. A clock radio is what I meant to say. Well, it does have built-in Bluetooth and all. That's not even modern. It's just normal. What's modern about this? Well, that. Yeah, the lamp was a joke. Fucking, you know that was, uh, what's it called? Uh, Newsman. What's it called? <laughs> I can't remember. Will Ferrell. That joke. And, you know, an alarm. We're probably not even going to use it. We have cell phones and stuff to yeah. use. Down here is their snack bar. Anchorman. Oh. Of course, everything here is inspired. I think these gummy bears cost like five dollars or something Those absolutely hipsters. ridiculous. Those are hipsters. So everything here is incredibly expensive. We won't be touching it. Hipster. And then you've got your romance kit. And it probably includes lube, two condoms, oh, yeah. two towelettes, and a personal lubricant. Guess how much this costs? Oh. You won't be needing that, honey. But keep that there, honey. Oh, what's in it? Though? See, look at Leanna perked up real fast. Two con. I just read it. Oh, no. Two oh, condoms. I don't, I don't listen to what you say, Yangi. Condoms here. No crazy things like butt plugs. Two condoms. Oh, ho, ho. Two towelettes, one personal lubricant. Guess how much this costs? Ten bucks. Twenty. That like Leanna. <laughs> Leanna is like kind of hopeful they might use it, but that thing did not get open. Dollars. Oh my god. One personal lubricant. Guess how much this costs? Ten bucks. Twenty dollars. Oh my god, dude. There's not even anal beads. There's Twenty dollars. No hey, look at Leanna. Anal beads, butt plugs. She's trying to get it going. But Phil, it is, it, Phil is like a duck. The sexual energy from Leanna just rolls right off the back, right off the Italian hair. So we won't be touching any of those stacks. We brought our own, Look, which I'll show still, you. She's still going. She said handcuffs, anal beads, handcuffs, and he just keeps on talking about this fucking review of a hotel, that a hipster hotel. Come on. Twenty dollars. No so we won't be touching any of those stacks. We brought our own, which I'll show you in a moment. But down here, you got another drawer. He just keeps okay. Talking. Here's the bed. It's a standard king bed. Actually, is this a queen bed? Queen bed, right? It's not a king. They didn't That's have a king. A king. It's a king. Yeah. I'm no, so trust me, the queen room is smaller than this one. Ah. So your queen bed. Like your mama. I talk a lot of shit because I fucks with the. The romance kit remained untouched throughout this trip. Oh, definitely. Phil laughed it off, and she was trying to say more stuff to do. She was trying to get it going. That's yeah, a nice bed. Nice big bed, which we're used to. You know, at home, we didn't want to go for a smaller bed. Over here, we've got more hipster artwork. This okay. one's made on some kind of bizarre Previously, cardboard or something, as you can see here. Now cardboard hipster. stock. Yeah, now we're talking. It's freaking weird is what it is. Oh, it's yeah, just it's really bizarre. Weird. It's called Bottles. So if you actually see any bottles in this piece of artwork, please uh, leave a comment and let me know. It's probably made from bottles, is my guess. Idiot. The hell they are, because I don't see them. Cycled from cardboard, you know? Over kind here, you've got a little uh, <laughs> kind of ottoman thing for your, you know, don't put anything down or rest your feet. I got my, my shirt work sitting there, because after driving for an hour, my back was all sweaty, so. <laughs> it's just the sweat rack. We got a drying rack for shirts. <laughs> this is my drying rack. This is my drying rack. I'm trying to air the shirt out. Here's our window. I'm trying to air the shirt out. There, because after driving for an hour, my back was all sweaty, so I'm trying to air the shirt out. Here's <laughs> Just, yeah, that's the main question. Why, why say that? Don't say it. <laughs> I'm trying to air it out. Not wash it, just air it out. If it's that sweaty, you might just want to say, like, we got to wash it. You know what I'm saying? Here's our windows, front windows, which actually have uh, a little bit of... <laughs> Leanna's getting dried out, too. Uh -oh. Privacy, which is nice because it's a tree. But if you actually look past down there, that's actually downtown Seattle. You, know, you can see people walking by in cars and you know people walking across the street. But it's nice that it's more secluded area. 
Here's our lamp. Let's up to that. We need to look at our great lamp. Here it is. You twist the knob. Yeah, there you go. Here's how it works. It's a freaking lamp. I don't want to aim this towards the here you go. Aim it towards the camera, but that's the lamp. It's a weird piece of art that you basically just twist it left that and right here cool. to position how which way you want the light to go. One of the weirdest lamps I've ever seen in my life. So that's our lamp. Here is all right. What are we working with here? What's our what's our business station? So a freshly bought HDMI. Of course, he couldn't find one in the closet. He has to buy a new one. That's the first thing I see because you know he's not labeling that shit. All of our stuff. You know, I set up. All our electronics and everything, including my cell phone. Here's charging. What's on that paper? <laughs> our stuff. Oh, I think it's like the hotel rules and shit. You know, I set up all our. Oh my god, look at the books! We got the books! Oh, that's probably from the hotel. Never mind, excuse me. That's probably from the hotel, I hope. But I wouldn't put it past him to buy those either. Hold on, honey, let's pick up a few books. <laughs> Top 10 Seattle tourist. <laughs> our electronics and everything, including my cell phone. Here's charging. Charging. We've got my left. Got those damn speakers again. The books are top 10 Seattle stuff. He brought those speakers. Okay, honey, this is our. We're on vacation. Let me bring my computer speakers. Laptop. With the speakers set up and our Blu ray player. So tonight we'll be watching some movies. Now, <laughs> it's a shame because we have this big ass TV. Yeah. Big, huge TV over here, right? Like for a hotel room, this is quite large. And guess what? What? No option on the remote to change the inputs on the television, zero. And no buttons on the television. I mean that. I've never seen a television that doesn't have buttons. This one doesn't. Look, Massive nowhere X. along the top whatsoever is there a button. Nowhere on the side is there Massive a button. Massive X. Nowhere on the underneath. And I fell all under here. I was trying to feel like, is there some? Massive X. They don't have other, they would not have, so if it has other inputs, there has to be a way to get to those other inputs. Something here? Is there something, you know, could there be a button or uh, anything? Uh, it looks like you just found the button, sir. Oh, wait a minute. I might have found a button. <laughs> I did, and it's the power button. <laughs> All I found was the power. <laughs> he tried to tell you how hard he looked for buttons and found one during the display of how difficult it was to find a button. <laughs> Take a look at this. You can't find any buttons anywhere. Check this out. TV turns on. <laughs> power button. There's nothing else there. So there is a standard power button right here, but there is nothing else. I actually looked back here, right? There's the... Yeah, if they have... Okay, this is bullshit. There's other buttons. <laughs> input, the shame is, here's the input, right? HDMI. If you be you have to be mentally challenged to believe they have inputs, but you can't change to those inputs. Have you ever thought about asking? Asking the, pr asking the front desk, maybe? So I could go from our laptop and that DVD player to the TV, but guess what? There's nothing to switch the input over to HDMI. So unfortunately... We'll either did you try to just plug? Oh, did he find? He found another button. He found another button. Oh my God! Oh wait a minute. <laughs> what is this? I can't take it. I can't. Hold Hello. On. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> he found the solution. <laughs> Maybe I can figure this out. After all, I'm oh live God. on video. Oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> It did something. It had a menu or something there. What the? Oh my god. And there it was. There's the option for the input on the right side. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. This is, this is worthy of replay. So hold on, hold on. Let's first hear. I want to hear again how the TV sucks. Okay? And how there's no button. Hold on. Here we go. Let's start this over. We'll start this over one more time. I apologize. I really apologize for this. Is there a button? Okay, right. Nowhere along the... I mean that. I've never seen on the television. Large. Right. Thank and you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. <laughs> if this is how it was when he had to figure out where the yo, definitely. Guess what? Oh, here we go. Guess what? No option on the remote to change the inputs on the television. Uh -huh. Zero. And no buttons on the television. I mean that. I've never seen a television that doesn't have buttons. This one doesn't. Look, nowhere along the top whatsoever okay. is there a button. Nowhere on the side is there a button. Nowhere on the underneath. And I fell all under here. I was trying to feel like... I felt all underneath here. Is there something here? Is there something, you know, could there be a button? Uh, oh, wait a minute. I might have found a button. I did, and it's the power button. All I found was the power button. There's nothing else there. There's nothing else there. So there is a standard power button right here, 
but there is nothing else. And I actually looked back here, right? There's the input. The shame is here's the input, right? HDMI. So I could go from our laptop and that DVD player to the TV, but guess what? There's nothing what? to switch the input over to HDMI. So unfortunately, believe <laughs> there it is. There it is. Either, oh my God. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Hold on. This dude. Maybe I can figure this out this after dude. all. On live on video. Hold on. <laughs> You can't, come on, man. This is incredible. Big ups, Captain, Captain Day After Day. The TV got more finger action than Panda did. Oh, absolutely. And he found the buttons on this one. It did something. It had a menu or something there. This what is the heck? That just threw me for a loop. And I'm telling you, if like I put this on video, I'd be like, all right, I'm just going to re-record this part because like it's too embarrassing. Phil just puts it straight the fuck on there. This is one of the lowest IQ moments I've ever seen. <laughs> Come on, load. I don't want to turn it off. Oh, wait. We got some good background here. I want to see the uh, re reflection from the... Uh... <laughs> so there's... Uh... Still trying to find your underparts. Press move. Press and hold. Select. Aha! Channel up, channel Aha. down. I'm going down. Source! So it looks like you found it. It says there's no vice device connected. So if I, oh wow. All right, so guess what? Right. We may actually be watching our movies tonight on this television. Wow, I've never seen a TV in my entire life that only had one button. This one has one button. <laughs> so maybe figuring that out, we may actually be watching, because we have, look at the stuff we brought. Oh, Leanna's depressed though. She's like, maybe we could try to do something, you know, intimate, but nope. Oh, DVDs now, bitch. All Watch. Right. Thank you for real. We've got freaking Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> You, you, Hakusho. Big ups, battery super scuffer in the house. Says he's just avoiding having sex with Leanna. The camera is his contraception. <laughs> we got the Deadpool movie. We got Jurassic oh, World. We've got Case Closed, Dragon Ball. Why is there two you, 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 Haku? Why is there two you, you, Haku shows? Oh, he took we it out the of Deadpool the case. I, oh, no, there is two you, you, Haku shows. We got the third season and the fourth and the second season, dude. Oh, that's a marathon. We've got Jurassic World. Oh, cool. We've got Case Closed, Dragon Ball, and a few uh, things of Aqua Teen Hunger Force there, in Ooh. case we feel like watching those. Uh, now, it's actually already 6.30 p.m. here, and we know Monday Night Raw is tonight. We like to watch that. Unfortunately, we're heading out to eat because we're, we're getting hungry. So we probably won't be home in time to watch all of Raw, but maybe we'll watch some of that later. And then <gasps> Do not make her watch Raw. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. We can't be watching Raw. Can we take Raw off this week? 30 p.m. here, there, in case we feel like watching those. Oh, can we? Oh, 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 now, it's actually already 6.30 p.m. here, and we know Monday Night Raw is tonight. We like to watch that. Unfortunately, oh. we're heading out to eat because we're, we're getting hungry. So we probably won't be home in time to watch all of Raw, but maybe we'll watch some of that later, and then we'll switch over to something else later. All right? Can all right. We, can we take it off with the Raw? On a staycation, can we forget about Raw? <laughs> so let's keep going here. <laughs> he should be doing it raw. <laughs> Down here is the mini bar. Now in the mini bar, they include a bunch of stuff that I rearranged and moved. Oh my God, there it all goes. It all fell as I opened the door. I'll have to rearrange that. A bunch of local stuff. You know, local brew. I <laughs> local brew. PA beers and shit. And guess how much it costs for a can of beer? Eight dollars we won't be opening that that's gonna stay in here what we did no fun here honey bring is a bunch of bottled waters for ourselves uh -huh. how about some oh i see that sprite on the top right might that be a mixer for something sir and so we'll be having bottled water and and else? leanna actually has snapple she brought and sprite i think a sprite here and that's to drink but also to mix with uh liquor which hell I'll yeah <laughs> Logan K said they brought multiple days worth of movies. How long was staycation again? No, Panda wants something else raw. Oh, you got that right, Logan. She wants something raw, but what she's getting is Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Show you in a moment. Hopefully this thing doesn't continue to fall every time I open it. I'm curious here. She wants it raw, but instead gets Monday Night Raw. Now, if I'm careful, it won't. Okay, that's good. There's a bunch of stuff. Beers, a Bloody Mary mix. There's all kinds of weird shit. 
What is going on? Now it won't stay closed. This can't be real. Oh, I know why. Because this. Because this can't fail. Look at this. <laughs> there. <laughs> Big ups, Coast I Phil. I would love to see him build a PC. It would be like a monkey trying to put together a puzzle. Oh, yeah. Even just the unboxing of the PC was funny, dude. I can't watch it now. Pain in the ass. Him unboxing and the over PC here, was funny. Oh, my God. We're going to have to fight this fucking thing. I'm going to be fighting the mini fridge all weekend. Oh, we got a new rival. Because this can keeps falling. The Look. mini fridge rival. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why won't it stay closed? I'm going to have to get a piece of tape. Or tie that. I'm gonna have to use a rope. You gotta be kidding me. I wonder what is it is that's actually forcing it to pop open like that. That is bizarre. Because it was fitting before. Well, here we go. I'll do that. You can't figure out a mini fridge? This is gonna give me a hard time. I'll jam shit up here in the back. How about now? That's Jenna, B plus. It's all Jenna here. This is, for, this is Jenna. Wow. Still won't close. I think it might be because of the waters. Are we fighting with a fridge live on a video that's not even live? <laughs> oh god, random poster. <laughs> How dare you. You take one out. Oh come Spit on, dude. To this front, has to be comedy. I'm probably gonna end up just taking everything out of this stupid thing. Because bottom line is I'm not gonna drink real. any of their fucking eight dollar beers to begin with. This is not and a real it's human taking being. Up space I could have other shit in here. Of course, the problem is if you don't leave this stuff in here and then the housekeeping ends up checking in one day, they might be like, oh, they took stuff out. There you go. Now it closed perfectly. And I say, oh, you took shit out of there, so now you owe us money, even though I didn't drink it. But anyway, now here. I guess we know how why this video is, is 17 minutes long. We got five minutes of TV discovery after calling it, you know, you, you're never going to believe this, guys. No buttons. Oops, there's a button. And now we got to figure out how to close our fridge door. Is this is interesting. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that, boys. We got it. New Amsterdam. We're going vodka. Is that what he brought? Or is this, this can't be mini Thank you all very it? much for the engagement. Today. This is all I the stuff it. we brought. Oh. <laughs> this is all the stuff they brought. <laughs> all right. New Amsterdam vodka in the house, boys. It wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. Is that top shelf or what? New Amsterdam. I don't know. I'm not, I, I, I never had, I'm not a big uh, New Amsterdam. Oh, no, it's cheap. 20 bucks, dude. Get you that. Twenty. Now here is, this is interesting. This is all the stuff we brought. We brought snacks. Like we, <laughs> we brought snacks. Little mini chips, right? We brought cookies. We brought candy. We brought things that we could snack on, like Cheez-Its. We brought our own glasses because we anticipated they wouldn't have them. And guess what? They don't. They don't even have good cups. So well, we, that's the classic gin glass. We, we used to use, that glass has been in a lot of it, it, pictures. Brought our own little plastic cups to drink stuff out of. What, they, this is like the, okay, this is getting way too fucking deep, but if, we're, he, we're here, so I understand you, you're ready for that. This is like the most, like, I, I'm imagining how they bought this, right? Because they're all like snack size bags. Like, did he literally go to a gas station and buy these bags like this? I'm guessing yes, right? And that means they all cost $2. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going to Walmart and picking up a bag, a huge fucking bag that's three dollars and it'll last you the whole fucking time and more, they went to a. I guarantee they went to a gas station and bought all these individual bags. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like Aaron, it could be the mix at Costco, absolutely. But I I'm kind of leaning towards you know it's fucking you know it's a a, a, a gas station stop. No, this is not our organ Pinot Noir. I don't know what. <laughs> Probably like twenty dollars for that little bottle, so uh, yeah, that's it, not our. That could be else too. Here, including the gin, which I'll probably. That's gin. Oh, New Amsterdam gin, dude. I didn't know they had gin. Fuck me. Hell yeah, New Amsterdam gin. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, gin. Hell yeah. Drink mixed with that that uh, sprite. Okay, so keep. Let's see how much that is. Let's see how much. Uh, let's see how much of that is left at the end. You know, it's all snacks. So we have a few snacks here now. There's some stores and stuff right down the street that we can go to. But Fuck we can bring though. stuff now, and then if we need something later, we'll go out and get it. Fuck that though, right? Now the reason that I showed you why my clothes are over there is very simple. This and this are the only two drawers for clothing. Actually, I take it back, there's one more that you can maybe put clothing down there. That's it. There's no formal, like, dresser and or anywhere to store your clothing. So apparently, if you're staying at this hotel, you're not actually supposed to 
like put your clothing anywhere. You're supposed to like have it fucking jammed in the corner or in a in your you suitcase. Up in that, uh, closet. Yeah, I don't get it. It's really. Yo, thank you, Leanna, for saying what needed to be said. Yeah, you could put it in the armoire. <laughs> Or in a in your you have to suitcase. Hang it up in that, uh, closet. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you could hang it up in the closet. <laughs> get it? It's really bizarre. Now we're not done yet. Here's our view of the street. Why aren't which is we quite done? Nice. You can actually look right down here. How at the could street. we not be done? Okay, so this is exactly where I am. Thank you. What you see there are lines for the bus system around here. The buses run on the electric uh, hybrid power, which is kind of nice. Right here is actually the electric hybrid courthouse. Power. It's the freaking courthouse of Seattle. Right here across the street from our hotel. It's pretty. And it's a nice view. As you can see, you can see the skyscrapers and stuff all around us from here. So if you want to take a look down at the city, you get a nice view. Top-down view of people walking around the city. You know, I'm sure we'll see some weird shit. Some hipster stuff going on down there. What is this hipster thing? He's so stuck on this hipster thing. And I have not seen anything hipster. Art? Artwork? Is that, is that what we've seen that's hipster? Can you give me an example of something hipster we've seen? Now, if it wasn't weird enough, this room, right? We've got a freaking record player. It's a All right, now that, that now that's that's something. In 2016, a record player you could say was hipster. Semi hipster, you know. An LP player, okay, and they give us a selection down here of records that we could play. Random Hi. crap. I like Southern Fried Rock in particular. Yeah, what are we getting this? And you can take them for 20 bucks each as part of this you can keep them. company. Yeah, it'll charge you 20 bucks per LP you take home. What the hell is this shit? It's something fun to do. Like an extra thing to, like, just put it on and chill when you're on vacation having fun. Who would want to have fun, you know? Father John Misty. Yeah, it's nothing like... The fuck? It's nothing majorly popular oh. from what I'm Who the see. fuck are these Two titans of music knowledge here? People, look at this. Probably uh -huh. more local stuff. Underground local crap. Band of horses. Band of fucking horses. <laughs> Careful, chat. Careful. What the hell? I thought there would be like rock, you know. Southern fried rock. All right, I've heard of some of these. Oh, dude, you can't say sentences like that back to back. I thought there would be rock. Okay, here's southern fried rock. <laughs> what? I thought there would be like rock, you know, southern fried rock. All right, I've heard of some of these. <laughs> Molly Hatchet, obviously. I mean, I've heard of some <laughs> yeah, of the Allman Molly. Brothers. Dude, if you haven't heard, okay, I've never heard of the Ozark Mountain Daredevils, but everyone else is pretty well is like pretty well known. If you if you care about like if you're into music, I guess. Brothers, well, some of these. And at Phil's age, I am similar age to Philip, younger than Philip, but similar age. <laughs> Molly Hatchet, obviously. I mean, I've heard of some of the Allman Brothers. They're huge. But some of these? The Head and the Heart. Yes. I don't know. Not my thing. What the fuck is this? I mean, we maybe have to listen to some of this. Oh, God. Just to we see what to. it is. Fleet Foxes. Oh, boy. The Fleet Foxes. Here they are. Oh my god. Right. Fucking shit. That's what they put in our room. That's the that's the music we get in our room. I was expecting like Jimi Hendrix, maybe some Beatles, you know. Why would you Okay. No, no, I'm we get kidding. the fleet fucking foxes. And then down it's here it's 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 on my head. That's nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Here's our coffee pot. Very cool. I guess they've got their own kind of Italia coffee roaster stuff. It's actually not a K cup, is which we're hipster? surprised at because most hotels these days have a K cups. Back here, there's some tea, the green tea, black tea, and I some herbal tea. And then here's the thing to put your ice in, which we're full up later tonight. And I also have some very sugar, Splenda. <laughs> sugar in the raw, honey. Oh, speaking of which, I want WWE raw later. And uh, and that's really the room. Now, the one the one of the cool things I like about the room is that they actually have these. These little oh, charge stations, you have two I power like outlets and Some USB charge, Some so for our, our iPhones, our iPads. 80s, 80s ballad -y too much, but there's some good tan, dude. Ads, it's really easy to charge stuff. In fact, over here with my laptop, they have the same thing, and I really like that. So we're good to go when it comes to power and all that, and the hotel. We're free good to internet. go when it comes to that. It is wireless internet, but from what we've been using on our phones and on this laptop, 
it seems good. So I obviously it's probably gonna take a ridiculously long time to upload videos. Uh -huh. And in fact, with this video I'm making right now, I'm gonna try to upload it and test and see, because this right now it's around 16 minutes long. Okay, you so we'll a vacation, see how long dude. it actually takes to upload. Sure, oh yeah, one final that. thing. What? I don't know what the hell this says. I think it's supposed to be an LP or something. Yeah, obits, I don't know. It's very, this place is really weird. So yeah. Oh, so we're wow, gonna be dude. here. It's all like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory in here. Wait, this is our hotel room. It's small, but it's nice. I actually like. I do like the the, the colors. I think that the dark gray is. Who gives a shit about colors? It's actually, a calming color that'll help oh, you sleep. You should tell them about. It's a calming color that'll help you sleep. Your eyes are closed when you go to sleep. This is unbelievable. This is the peak dented fill ever. The color of a room helps you sleep. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, and uh, Cracker Jack, the lights are off too. Not only do you have the lights off, you also close your eyes. But it says, I said, the force you feel sub pop isn't the record label on WB the music volume five. That's what you wanted. <laughs> All right, let me hear this again. Maybe I heard something incorrectly, but I just let me, let me hear that again. This is our hotel room. It's small, but it's nice. I actually like, I do like the, the, the colors. I think that the dark gray is actually a common color that'll help oh, you sleep. You should tell them about it's a common color that will help you sleep. Is there, okay, we're not going to go this deep, but is there some kind of angle to, like, it helps you calm down before you go to, oh, Mrs. Galfire, foil, first one. Maybe it, there's evidence that blue rooms help people sleep longer. All right, big ups, dude. Banana Jones. <laughs> Do you think Phil knows that knowledge? About the front door, what's on the front door? Well, yeah, well, I'm not going to go out there with the well, camera, the but, on yeah, on every door, there's a picture of a different musician from, like, a different rock or or grunge yeah, or right to, uh, pearl, yeah. pearl jams on one of the doors the yeah yeah our door has some guy I never heard of it's from wonder glue or some stupid shit i never wonder heard of glue. it some fucking <laughs> yes elmer's glue i don't know what the name of the band is but uh, all right so that's the room hope because you enjoyed you never the heard of them that means they're an asshole cool walk through tonight we're pretty much just gonna walk maybe a little bit around the city and we're gonna get food but we're, we're a little beat so we're just gonna do yeah, that and then come back and relax here Tomorrow is our first big day out where we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're going to be walking. I believe tomorrow we may be heading either to down to the water, like Pike Place oh. Market and the Aquarium, or we may be going to the Space Needle. It's two different directions. We're not sure yet. I think it's going to depend more on the weather than anything else. Oh, God, so we'll play talk. it by ear. But all right. So that's our room. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. All right. So now we get the start of the vlogs and we're not watching all these but phil does this in the worst way possible so each one the maximum length the average length of these vlogs of which there are 63 of them so you know how that goes we're not watching all that shit i'll do a uh, you know a sampling uh but the each of these videos got like let's see let's let's go to like let's see this one this is the chihuly gardens and they glow. All right, so we're at the entrance of the Chihuly Glass Gardens. Okay. Nice, they have it all uh, lit here with different kinds of, uh, you know, I don't know if it's LED or whatever kind of bulbs. And and by the way, by the way, another, un, uh, you know, underrated assholeish thing Phil is doing here. He's making this not a vacation anymore. He's making it work. The whole point of this was to spend time together and not be at work, yet he's filming every fucking thing. Which makes it not work, makes it not a vacation anymore, and you're not spending time with Leanna because you gotta fucking film this shit that 2,000 people are gonna watch. And that's only part one. The, the people, that might be the highest viewed one we get. Side of these long glass sculptures. So we're making about 40 cents? You know what I'm saying? 2,000 views in 2000, I mean, who knows in 2016 how much that was. But let's say it's $2, you know? Is a, is, is a, is a, Conserv a conservative estimate. This entire building. It, it, which is it's way too high, by the way, but let's just say it. It's $2, okay? Is that worth it? Blown glass, you know, blown glass actually, in a large way, was uh, part of the culture of the native peoples here in Washington State. And so, you know, this whole entire building is dedicated to the native peoples, their culture, the blown glass stuff that they would do. 
It's pretty almost, interesting. She almost berated him real quick. Sounds like jellyfish. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They blow it so much, it becomes almost, you know, completely see-through. Yeah, almost crazy. <clears throat> but it's still thick enough to be a glass, you know, container or structure. And they got pictures of all the Native Americans on the wall who, you know, influential in this, in the history of the state. <laughs> he has next no look at the crazy sculptures. So he has gonna... no clue. Here's some Native Americans that are uh, influential. Uh... And in there, take a look. <laughs> you can see through it. Yeah. Okay, there is, oh my god, dude, there's nine videos from this Chihuly Gardens. All right, let's go to the last video of Chihuly Gardens. It's pretty wild walking to th further through this. It feels like you're in a real-life video game. You know Come on, man. Oh, we, we've seen this one before. You're in a real-life video game, dude. Wonderland to me. Yeah. Almost like we go down the rabbit hole thing, start looking a little odd. You see weird stuff, you're like, whoa, what is it, purple? What is that? What are oh. these? That's not natural. Look, you oh actually see God, coming up all these dude. colors. Inside them when they suddenly pop out, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eggie. Yeah, I remember when we were here, all, half these plants weren't grown. So it was a lot more barren. Now it's like, you know, really it's unique. Right. Orange, look at this orange coming up. I can't handle it. All right, so we're currently at Pike Place Market in Seattle, Washington. This is the entrance area where you get magazines and food and stuff. As you walk through it, it kind of changes from food to arts and crafts. There's also a huge underground area with tons and tons of shops. We're actually going to walk out to the street level and show you how it actually is, how busy it is out here. Very busy day. Surprising being that, yeah, surprising that it's only a Wednesday and it's this busy with this many people out here, but at the same time, the weather's so nice, it's not surprising. <laughs> yeah, that's the, no, that's true. Phil is the apex tourist. <laughs> All those shops are just dying to get him to come in. And it is the middle of the summer. Uh, just walk down the street, I guess. There's all kinds of stuff, like I said, food, arts, crafts. Not too much in the realm of tech stuff, that's Again, for sure. Yeah. You won't find that TV clip has me on different plane. That TV clip mixed <laughs> mixed with the rate with the records clip. And like a, a a technology store, cameras or games or anything like that. You're gonna find more. You're gonna find like maybe a handmade iPhone case. Yeah, you see arts and crafts, clothing, touristy kind of stuff. Lots of cafes. There's tons of these cafe style things that are around here where you can grab different snacks and stuff. Cafe style things? Chocolate factory. Thanks for the zoom. <laughs> Thanks for the zoom. Dumb fuck. He zooms in and continues walking towards it. Watch this. Chocolate factory. Yes, we did. We got some chocolate here last time. <laughs> That added a lot, dude. Oh! Outside snort. Those are pretty rare. Zoom in, please. Block, I could the read the sign. It takes you to the second uh, lower level of the, the Pike Place underground market. And there, there's a lot more stuff on the inside. In fact, there's a, a little shortcut. You could have went in oh. from there. But we're just going to walk around the block, honey. probably, and then jump in and walk around on the inside. Maybe I'll film a little bit on the inside, too. All right, so that was the full video with 1.8 thousand views uh do you feel like a tourist when you visit the smart the comments are dented too not even funny comments uh let's see the okay i'll see like the first and last part of every little section here because pike place got six videos let's see this all right we are in golden age collectibles as you can see comic book central for Pike Place Market. They've got new, they've got old, they've got one bajillion trade paperbacks. You can get caught up on any, seriously, any comic book you want to get caught up the on. They've no, got Marvel, DC, you. Vertigo, everything you can think of. They've got a ridiculous amount of collectibles related to pop culture, board games, manga. Here's the manga section, by the way. Manga. Huge amount of manga right here against the wall. Look at that, awesome. Awesome. Back there, huge uh, selection of uh, pop, Vinyl figures against the wall. Probably the biggest selection I've seen on one wall ever. Yeah. Like, there's just so many. <laughs> What's the biggest selection of, of Funko Pops you've seen on one wall? <laughs> many. 
And we've been here twice. Every time we come here, we, we definitely come here and look around because there's so much awesome stuff. Look at these magnets. Look, look at these magnets, dude. <laughs> Princess Bride. Oh, Princess Bride. Phil likes Princess Bride. It's one of my favorite movies. I told you. <laughs> All up here. Action figures. They've got an insane selection. So if you're into this kind of stuff, pop culture, comics, uh, any of this stuff, you got to come here. Game of Thrones merch. Wow, Game of Thrones was already going? That feels like it's like not that long ago, but it is. This is 2016. A Weird Al Yankovic action figure with Poke Power oh, accessory. Where else would you... Hold on, now we got the figures. Come on, please find a gaming figure. Do that. <laughs> Seriously, where else? This place is awesome. Too good. Pacific Rim? Wow. Pacific Rim merch. More uh, all, all ages comics and manga. Walking Dead has its own section on the wall. Look at that. Get caught up on the Walking Dead. It's a Carbonite. Carbonite ice cubes? Yep. Here's their old comics. Yes, they have classic comics as well. Oh, I was wondering that. If they had classic comics. Lord Kane in the house. And this is evidence he doesn't plow his wife either. Of course, they keep those locked away. Look at those. Avengers Breakup. Second one. Fantastic Four. Oh man, I used to I used to be into this so much when I was a kid. And I would have the Wizard Comics Guide every month. I would check and see the, the prices of classic comics. I actually had a few comic book shops in my area that had some of the originals, and I was thinking about buying them, but good thing I didn't. <laughs> good thing I didn't. They didn't hold water. Here's the Star Wars. They didn't hold water. Oh, look how much he wants to collect. Consume. Horse figures. Oh boy. Consume. Of course, these are all out of packaging, so severely reduced pricing, but. Oh, these are all out of packaging, so severely reduced pricing. Awesome. This place is too good. It really is like a pop culture dream if you're into this or a kid. Imagine a kid walking in here and be like, oh my god. <laughs> Very nice. Pop culture dream, dude. This is what we're just outside of Seattle Aquarium. Look at this amazing view to the left. Arcad. It's the Miner's Landing. This is where we've been before a couple times. Pop culture dream. That's That was on the fucking brochure. All right, we're down to 1.5 thousand views. Where the views are going down. Nice. When we first visited here, there was an arcade inside. I think they've since closed. But we played in there. We had food. And there's all kinds of fun stuff in there. We're going to be checking that out later today. Oh God, and there's the Ferris wheel. But again, kind of apprehensive parts. about doing it with the sun. It's even getting hotter out here right now. And to the right is the aquarium. Look how awesome this is. Nice big fountain. Everyone's out here getting some nice water. And uh, heading to the aquarium. That's where we're headed right now. Of course, you got the shitty highway behind you, which sucks. All this construction is loud as hell. So you have to kind of ignore that and just enjoy this. But once they finally finish, whatever the hell they're doing here, this would be very enjoyable, I think. So, awesome. It's about 70, 75 degrees. He did say they're getting water. I don't know if this is water to be played in, is it? Degrees, I would say, not super hot. I think it's about like 7, 3, 75. Yeah. I think that might be like a homeless person getting a shower. I don't know, like I don't think you're supposed to go in this fountain, are you? Just in the sun, it gets hotter, you know. Uh -oh. All right, we're heading in. <laughs> <laughs> you notice when the video ended? Sun, it gets just in the sun. It gets, yeah, uh -oh. just in the sun it gets hotter. Yeah. Oh, gotta end it, honey. Right, honey, we're heading in. Close it. <laughs> end the video, honey. <laughs> Hold your backpack. The push. Squished completely against the glass. You cannot see his face. I don't think it's above there. Oh, it was a pretty. Interesting. All right, this, is for, this is for King Jazz. And for Here we have the River Otter. He's going under and over and under. Otter? Now. Yeah, he went to the back. We'll probably come back up in a second here. No, it's going to be There's only one of them today. <laughs> water is so fucking loud. He has to scream over the water. They might, yeah, they might be in the back. I don't know. Where did he go? Back. Swim all the way to the back. Oh, there he is in the cave. He's coming out of the cave right now. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Do, 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 do. Power and shit. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! That's a good picture. There he is. Backflip out of the 
checking out on this. Um, zoos. We have to see some zoo action, don't we? Uh, let's see. What animal should we do? What will Brit What will Phil be the stupidest with? Oh, I know. Here we go, boys. Oh, we're at the gorilla exhibit, and here comes the gorilla. Hello. <laughs> he goes, oh, sit right there. Hello. Oh, how are you doing? Delicious carrot. There's the big guy in the back eating a bunch of carrots. See that? I think there may be too many people for him to say any kind of, like, commentary. That's cool. Walks right up. Oh, hello. Want some snacks? She's in the bed. No, she's in the back with her mother. I saw her, but... I don't care. All right, so we moved on to the Tropical Asia exhibit. The first is the warty pig who will not turn to see us. He's very disgusted at our presence at his uh, enclosure, apparently. See him munching there. I think there's another way to see him if you go around the corner further here. You can see him from the other side. Hello, warty pig. I like to see your butt. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello. Very hungry. He's got probably the best habitat because it's almost completely shaded. Yeah, look, it's pretty much enclosed in all these high Thanks. canopy Thanks. of yeah. trees that they've built for them. So I'm checking out on this. Here we go. We've got some deer cats. Look these guys. I know they look around like they think that's actually the savanna. It's just a wall. <laughs> that's their instinct, though, to keep watch. Yep. That's how they stay away from predators. They have people watch, and then they make sounds when they hear. Uh, Wait, let me when they hear right right I could put it on Twitter here. If you do that with that. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Perfect. And then they make sounds when they hear a uh, when they hear a sea lion. Oh, here comes a third. Is he gonna walk? Nope, not his turn for walk, baby. <laughs> Fucking detractors. Okay. Uh, somehow there's still this now. And now we're now the views are going way down. Now we're in 700 view land. Uh, let's go to one more from the zoo. Sorry, cat. I know you can't ever go here, so I want to show you some stuff. Uh, here is a turtle. How about some turtles? All right, we're in the final exhibit of uh, Woodland Park Zoo. It's the amphibians, reptiles, and something special at the end. Here are the salamander, right? Frogs. Look at that. All right, fuck this. You get the point. That's that's really not worth watching. Uh, now though, we have to get to the Instagram fun. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> we have to do Instagram, right? Uh, so let me zoom it out here. Zoom. Oh, come on, don't do this. Currently, I've got let me change my aspect ratio. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I'll get to this. I'll get to this. Uh, let's make it smaller like this. 